Now before I get started today, I'm going to tell you, my fingers look worse than they are. <laughs> I sprayed them with some uh, liquid band-aid the other day, and uh, they, it's really just starting to peel off the band-aid. I tried washing it off, but it doesn't want to wash off, so. Okay, what I'm doing now is I'm going to try to uh, make the ears as best I can. The ears are halfway from the front of the forehead to the back of the skull, and it, it runs uh, about, uh, Actually, I might use Ken's halfway, if I can find it. It's such a small tool, it's hard to misplace this tool. Yeah, I'm going to dig out the ear a little bit. Okay, I'm using this ear on my mannequin to work from. You can get illustrations out of books on the structure of ears, too. The key is to always be comfortable when you're sculpting in whatever clothes you wear. Wear the clothes that you like to wear. You're not dressing up for anybody. You're dressing up uh, to make yourself comfortable so that you're environment is the best so you can create. Everybody's got their preference for how to set up their studio and what clothes to wear. 1800s, a sculptor would more than likely be photographed in a smock and they probably wore one but with her photographs they certainly would have posed differently than they probably would have sculpted okay now as you can see I've placed another maquette in the background this is from the same company uh anatomytools.com it's uh, a lot less expensive it also shows all the muscles on both sides of the body instead of just one side which is a good thing to have at halloween i got this uh skull from a gas station of all places but it's pretty darn accurate as far as uh, the anatomy of the skull is and uh it's supposed to hang from your car. Uh, there's a little pinhole right there, and it's supposed to hang from your mirror. I decided to use it as a reference. So you get reference from every source you can find. I mean, you never know where you're going to find reference. A skull is a skull. cutting far enough back behind the eye that it's not going to affect the eye. Alright everybody, that's going to be it for today. And uh, whew, I used a uh, mannequin today that uh, I got online and uh, it's excellent for uh, reference. All right, I'm going to call it quits, and I'll see you guys next time. Good night. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.